Hello everyone, this is Ron Wilson and I'm here with another tutorial with the Ultimate uh, Membership Pro. I'll be in, in going over this uh, um, little module that I set up in your website, how it goes, how you can uh, do it on your own, how you can set up memberships, how you can assign members, those memberships and everything in between. So basically I set up two modules, uh, one module was for embedding a PowerPoint presentation i also modified the powerpoint presentation a bit i you know reduced the size optimize its uh, uh, media files and a few other things tweaks and sort of things to you know make it uh, as light as possible so that uh, the server could actually handle that uh, weight and you know load the presentation easily so after doing that i set up this ultimate membership module and in this module what i did was that i set up three demo memberships so basically two parts are very important in order uh, to make this uh, platform run for you one is this membership the other one is this members one so memberships are those uh, 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 how should i say subscribe subscription forms that you could give to your uh, subscribers uh, or your members they, uh, I have set up three demo ones. One is just free demo, one-time demo, and recurring demo. But these are just demos. You can create your new memberships as well. And I have named them like free one-time plan, recurring plan, and, and this one is for free for lifetime, ten years total for lifetime, one year total for lifetime, and one-time, one-time ongoing. Uh, so you could you know set these up for yourself as you like it. It's very simple and easy to do. All you have to do is click on this button, add new membership and just follow through with it and give it its name its slug and all the things in between and you are all done with this so this is one part of the uh, equation the second part of the equation is are the members how you go about it how you set up those members okay so in order to do this what you have to do is you have to go into this area members like this one here right and how you create a new member now this is a tricky part you need to be very careful that you assign the right task to the right person and this could be you know just so you don't lose any money over it so the thing to go about it is you go here you add a new member and add in his details for example i'm going to go with my own details i'm going to write like my name is most interesting my email is most interesting at gmail.com first name Mosin, second name Javid, password has already been written. Let me just copy paste it for just to make sure. Perfect. I go down here, I sign myself a new membership. Let's go one time, assign new. Recurring. If these are assigned correctly, they should be mentioned here. But it's not a big task. You could assign these at a later stage as well. So we go down. I select the role that I want to give this subscriber. If I want him to land on a certain page, I'll go and click on that page. For example, if I want to let him on this page or that particular page. But the normally is the best page to select is the home one. So I go about it. I save this change. Uh, after doing so. A new user will be created with the details that I, you know, and gave it, and just waiting for it. Yeah, perfect. So as you can see, a new user for me has been created, and it currently has a one name plan. So for, uh, for example, he buys a new membership, and he buys a membership of let's say a lifetime or a recurring plan. All you have to do is you go here, you manage plans. A new pop-up window will open up. You go down a bit. You go down a bit, and you choose the membership that you want to offer him. The current plan, for example, you assign it to him. A new membership would open up here, and you give it a save changes button action, and voila. So this has been saved. So what is this going to do? Let me give you an example. Let's see if I have a page. Perfect. So this is normally when when a user uh, opens your website and he is not registered user, he will see this page, right? You are not a member. Currently sign up for a membership of Contact Admin Five. Let me give to you again. I am going to reload this, and uh, when I reload it, instead of opening 
helping the P P PowerPoint will say that you are not a member can you sign up for a membership or contact admin support for help and if for example I'm a member what I'll do is I'll log in so I'll log in here Sorry about the video break. So well, when I try to log in, I'll give it my details. For example, my details most in Java five zero one, and this is my password. Yeah, this is the one. When we log in, and when I click on login, it will take a few seconds and it log me into the home page. Perfect. So I'm currently logged in, and for example, now when I click on refresh or reload. What what will happen is that the PowerPoint presentation that I am currently member of that uh, particular PowerPoint presentation will open up like this and voila. So only the registered members that you have uh, you know given the permission to could be able to view this particular file and other members who are not you know other people who are not members of this particular uh, uh, login won't be able to access this file. So this is it and do let me know if you have any questions or queries or if you need any other development help at my email address mohsinjavedikwala.gmail.com or you could you know whatsapp me or anything at all like that. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Take care. Allah.